G'day all, this is my Retro DE01 Crossbeam vacuum engine. Haven't had a lot of time to muck around with this since I got it, as I've been busy with the Enjomore 6cc hit and miss engine that sucked up a lot of my time, and I'm, but I'm happy to now that I've got it working. Uh, this engine doesn't come with a, a drive wheel, not a lot of vacuum engines do. But I have had some success with getting vacuum engines to drive small accessories. I'll just show you how this system for this one's a little bit different than uh, that new split hub system that's on the hit and miss engines. So we've got uh, this brass piece here that's drilled right through. The, these are three millimeter uh, socket head bolts, and the spokes. Uh, drilled and tapped so the bolts go right through this brass piece and then they're screwed into the spokes then we've got the grub screw going into here and that's what's holding it in place so what I did got a piece of brass round stock put a V groove in there for the pulley inleted it enough so I would be able to use the original three bolts that came with the engine. So those three bolts are drilled through this hub that I made, then they're going through the original hub that you can see in there, and then they're screwed into the wheel. So I So I, I, I think that came up pretty good, looks good. Um, let's put some methylated spirits, that's what's called down here in Australia. Denatured alcohol in other parts of the world. And we'll see if we can get this going. Build a little bit, just clean that up. Otherwise, it will flash over and we'll probably have a, a fire down here that I don't want. Okay, put that back in. See, it will start first go like I did the other day. Right. Whoop, blown out. Blown out again. Pack that off a little bit. Again, so I might pull this wick out a little bit, make more of a flame, see if it'll stop blowing itself out, light it again, yep, that sounds better straight away.
message. Okay, let's see if I can run some accessories off this. Okay, back again. I've hooked up this old Fleischmann sausage maker to the vacuum engine. Just put a little bit more tension on that pulley. Just make sure it's straight. Yep. Claim still in the original position from when I turned the camera off. Wind this back in. I don't think it'll have a problem running this. So let's have Lovely looking engine. Let's try something. Let's try something a little bit harder for it to run. I'll just set it up and I'll turn the camera back on. All right, back again. Uh, I've hooked it up to a Baker engine that I made uh, a while back. As you can see, that the Baker engine is a lot bigger and a lot heavier than the um, little vacuum engine. It's on bearings, so it does spin fairly easy, 
but let's see if this uh, little vacuum engine has got the gumption to get that baker fan running. Slide her up. Put this back where I think it should be. And let's see. I'll just take a bit of pressure off. So put a bit of pressure on. Oh, I'm surprised with that. The baker fan is actually blowing a little bit, a bit of air movement onto the plane. You can, might be able to see that plane flickering around. But Hey, it's running it. Let's see if I can just adjust that a bit more. Working hard, you can hear it working hard. Very fine adjustments make such a, a big difference. I'm really impressed with this. This is the first uh, vacuum engine I've had that's got this fine adjuster. It's a it's a big bonus having it. Pop the camera off the tripod. Pretty impressed with that. That that's uh, that was great. A lot of fun. I'm uh, really impressed with the brass flywheel. That's worked out perfect. It was a good way of uh, putting it on, mounting it onto that uh, flywheel. And uh, I'm impressed. I didn't think it would have any problem running the uh, the old sausage maker, but uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to run this baker fan. The baker fan does put a bit of a load on an engine, and uh, you could hear it working. It was working hard, but it definitely, uh, it definitely ran it. Just such a nice engine. Just find one more little run of it. There it goes with no load.
quite a nice looking and fun engine and uh, capable of doing a little bit of work. As always, thanks for watching, much appreciated and always appreciate the comments. Stay safe, bye for now, bye.